Hi, I'm Joe, and thanks for watching another episode of Comfortably Sophisticated. Um, if you haven't looked at the intro, um, I'll post a link to it below, but um, it gives a little bit more description of what this is all about. Um, but in short, I'm in my daughter's poof chair, and I'm drinking a glass of bourbon. Uh, tonight's bourbon is a bullet rye whiskey which I guess technically isn't the bourbon, but they're out of the bullet bourbon in the grocery store. So I spoke with somebody and they said, try this, it's pretty good. Um, so tonight I really was kind of debating what I wanted to start with and uh, go through. Um, and I thought um, kind of the whole purpose for me starting these was a revelation or just some ideas that came out of a process that I had started back in July this past year. But one of the things that I kind of learned and thought of was a little bit more broader. Um, and so even though this is not necessarily the thing that started the whole idea here, um, I kind of want to start with, with this premise of what's your bike purpose? Um, you know, there's a ton of different styles of riding uh, and there's all kinds of you know different uh, events and, and things to do so for example you've got mountain biking uh, that can be downhill that could be cross-country enduro you've got road riding you've got fat biking you've got gravel road riding and then within each of those disciplines you've got racing to just simply having fun with groups or finding solitude by riding by yourself or riding for a long period of time with uh, like bike packing, that kind of stuff. And um, it just it just really presents a lot of different options and really more options than anybody's got time to do all of, if that makes sense. And in fact, it was a, a, maybe a year ago that I was taking a look at some pictures of you know, an acquaintance that was doing some bike packing and thinking, man, you know, it's just, I feel guilty that like, that doesn't really interest me. Um, am I not experiencing all that biking has to offer by not wanting to do that? And I think I've realized this year that no, not at all. Um, and that's the glory of what all of these different things offer. I mean, these different things, different ways to experience bikes um, are not just a manufacturer's way of like, selling bikes you know, they're, they're chasing what we crazy riders are doing you know on the weekends and building things that help us do the things that we want to do but there's so many different interests that anybody can do what they want to do and they can focus on those things and that's kind of the glory and the, and the, the beauty of it um, that there's all of these different options but what that means is if you're getting into biking um, you may need to find what that is. Um, I believe that a lot of people get into riding because it looks fun, but also maybe because they want to make a health change. The health change was certainly a reason why I got into it. And if that's the case, I firmly believe that you're going to stick with the things that you find fun. And I think that you're going to find the most fun in the things that fit your purpose. And so kind of understanding what it is that drives you on your, when you're on your bike and understanding um, where you get most enjoyment and satisfaction um, are the things that are gonna help you stick with the sport um, and make it infectious. Um, people love to talk about the things that they love doing. Um, at least maybe I'm the only one, maybe I like to talk about biking because I love doing it, but maybe, maybe that's, I believe that's, a, no, I'm not an anomaly. But I enjoy it. It's so much fun. Sure, there's a lot of work that's involved. Um, you're pedaling a bike. You could easily get a motorcycle. You could drive somewhere. But you're pedaling a bike, and you got to go uphill and you go downhill. But at the end of the day, the enjoyment out of it is what keeps me coming back. The thing that I learn while I'm on the bike has a lot of other implications as well. And I think by finding your purpose, I think you find that you can push yourself and I think you can push yourself then in other parts of your life and parts of your journey. Um, 
so I think it's it's kind of worth having a discussion and a, and a conversation around what your bike purpose is um, and I think it's a fun thing to learn and explore but I don't think it's anything that has to be found immediately um, I think if you wanted to make it a priority um, you might find that that's an error too so all this to say I think that I think everybody has a purpose when they're on their bike whether they acknowledge it or not or whether they spent any time and most people may not even need to spend any time they know why they enjoy biking and they know what they enjoy like you know on uh, biking but that's one of the things that I kind of learned this year it was it's it's a purpose for me and when I understand that purpose it helps me find time to fit those types of rides in um, and it helps me understand riding a little bit better so love to hear what you think if anybody else has really uncovered that for themselves it'd be kind of fun to hear what you learned please post in the comments below and until next time I'm gonna stay comfortably sophisticated thanks <laughs>